Hello everyone. In the previous video, we created our theme in the database. So now the time is to create our themes in the blades. So let's go to the project. And here in the project, I'm going to this email directory and in the email, I'm going to create a theme directory because we are going to create the email themes, right? Themes and in the theme, I'm going to create the theme one, theme one dot blade dot PHP file right and then i'm going to create the theme 2 and theme 3 and stuff like that right so blade 2 oops i'm going to create the theme 2 dot blade dot php so let me copy this why it's so not to edit this here so it's creating participant okay now it's created so let's go here and add this theme 3 okay theme three and yes now we created our three themes and it's still creating why it's creating the participant i don't know what's happening with my text reader okay so let's close other files and here we created the three themes right so set up and share with you okay so in the themes we have this themes directory and we have three themes so in the first theme i'm going to render my first template right so let's go here and here we got this first template right so we already uh, implemented this in our project so here this bat mail right so let me uh, copy this out and i'm going to paste this into theme one and then i'm going to I'll go to theme 2 and then here i'm going to render the theme 2 so i'm going to render the theme to which one it's this one right and then i'm going to open also this one so this one would be the theme 2 so let's copy the html okay it's still loading wait for a moment to complete this and yes it's now completely loaded so go down 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 and i'm going to copy you can use whatever template you want right so it's totally upon you i'm shooting this for demonstration purposes so you can get the website themes uh, from visiting this website right so let's go here and now i'm going to grab the third theme from there so let's click on this html here I'm going to get this theme okay go down 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 and uh, here I'm going to copy all of the one and then going to theme 3 and paste this here right so now our theme 2 and theme 3 and theme 1 is ready right so now the time is to go to welcome blade not this welcome go to this web.php file uh, where we created this theme so let me uh, come and uh, move this to down 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 and here we are sending our user an email so i'm uh, removing this uh, user logic okay from there and then i'm going to send uh, a color so here we need to send a color so you can send different color I'm not going to pass the color properties so it will send the emails with the default color so which we added in the template so let me show it to you hope maybe you forgot so here we are grabbing the color and if it's not found we are going to pass this color right so it's a basic blue background color right so let me delete this out and now I'm going to uh, check the themes uh, which theme is activated and then I'm going to uh, add this into this uh, array and then I'm going to pass this to this blade so here I'm going to check the theme activated theme so first I'm going to check that uh, uh, if the no theme is activated then I'm going to do something okay so here I'm going to first uh, theme so let me add this theme at the top so my text editor is taking too much time so here i'm going to check that where status so i'm first checking that if the status is one then i'm going to grab the theme so here i'm going to check the first because we are going to activate only one theme 
so if this theme is uh, not found so it's mean that we don't have any theme which is activated so we are going to grab the first one why because if no theme is activated we are going to uh, we are going to send an email using first theme right so here i'm going to name this theme and here i'm going to grab the first uh, theme uh, where I'm going to I'm going to not use this uh, where condition here I'm going to just to uh, grab the theme name so what's the theme name uh, how can I get the only first one I can get this like this I think uh, first is available at this so let me check that first is available or not so theme and then this theme is uh, not available so it's going to work so here it would be a uh, send uh, email routes so it's going to return us oh it's returning yes it's returning the theme why it's returning the theme because uh, no theme is activated that's why it's coming inside this one and returning the first theme right theme one and uh, if what if the theme is uh, activated so if the theme is activated then we are going to grab the theme right so theme and here we are going to pass the theme where and we are going to check that uh, where status is one right and then we are going to grab the first one because we are going to just only enable the one theme at a time so if the no theme is uh, if the theme is uh, not activated we are going to grab the first one if it's activated we are going to go to the else condition and here we are to grab the first uh, where status equal one right and here in the switch statement we are going to add a switch statement and in the switch we are going to add the theme name okay theme name why it's i'm doing mistake okay here i'm going to add a case and the first case would be the theme one so this theme will return the theme name and i'm going to check that if this will return the theme name so i'm going to add a theme name variable here theme theme name equal so i'm going to name this like theme one right so I'm going to add this theme one and then I'm going to break this out, right? So let me do it for all of the ones. So here, so let me identify it properly. So I need to also make this like this and then make this like this here. And I need to add this so theme two, this one, and this one would be theme three, right? So now what it will do, so oh my video size is going very bigger so i'm going to cover this in the next video so i will meet you in the next one bye bye